Yeah, what's going on, man? Stop playing, man. It's my P, man, from Boston. Stop playing, man. Bean Town? Mm. Yo, stop playing, man. We're going to. We're going 10 years back. Rihanna. The Loud album. You know what I'm saying? Is it a classic? Is it not a classic? Y'all tell me. Because every time I say it's a classic, it's not a classic, people. You want to fight me in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell you at the end of this interview. Well, I made an interview, but at the end of this review, if it's a classic or not. But if you're watching this, you know what I'm saying? Throw your um, comments in before that, you know what I'm saying? How many mics you give it? We're going five mic system, source. Is it four mics, three mics? Three and a half mics, four mics, five, whatever, five mics, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Listen, this album came out November 16, 2010. Um, so basically, 10 year anniversary soon. Um, 46 minutes, uh, 48 seconds. Yo, this album's fucking crazy. It's ridiculous, man, you know what I'm saying? This ain't for kids right now. This ain't for kids, man. So put the kids to sleep. You know Rihanna's nasty. Y'all know Rihanna's nasty. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, a, I'm not going to get nasty on the review, but I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm see what it is. That's what it is. Whatever, it's, you know what I'm saying? I come up with. So, first joint. s and Come on, man. You already know what that's about. Featuring, um, and sometimes I'm going to try to, like, put, put the background singers in there. A lot of background singers don't get an acknowledgement and flowers, with flowers, you know what I'm saying, where I can smell them. So I'm going to throw some background singers in there when I can um, during the review. So, S&M featuring, um, and they don't even say featuring. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got the background singers. Like, sometimes I go into the review, I go, yo, why don't I give the background singers that much respect? Because, you know what I'm saying, they made the tune too. You know what I'm saying? That singing or that melody they carry um, makes the song dope. You know what I'm saying? So... I try to put them in there if I can if I see the if I see that in there, you know what I'm saying? So SNM featuring Esther Dean, she's the background vocalist, you know what I'm saying? So produced by um Veronica uh Boozman, Sandy B, Cook, Harrell, and Stargate. Now, before I start pronouncing like all these crazy names and producers, a lot of these tracks when you got a, like a, 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 a pop, pop, pop star, or hot hip hop star, or whatever it is, the albums are different. You know what I mean? Like the producers might be like, it might be like six, six, four, five, six producers on one song. Um, that's this case right here. Rihanna, big star, global star, international star. Um, She's gonna have like four or five producers on one track. Um, what does that mean? I've never been in a session. Producers or DJs, hit me in the comments, tell me what's going on. Why is it like four or five, 18 people as producers to make one hit song? Like, y'all gotta tell me, like, who, how you split that? Everybody gets two, two cents? Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just like ramping. But sometimes I see an album and there's like 40 producers. Like, what are you doing? How many producers you need to make a song? I, I, I don't know. I love Rihanna, and this is like when you. This is when you know you big star. You're a big star, big star. You know what I'm saying? When you have like those four or five producers, you know what I mean? Like it just feels weird. It's like how many people gotta listen to the album? And go, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's good. And then add a scratch or add a a vocal. Or say take that out, take that in, take that out. You know, whatever, whatever. whatever. Which is, you know, you know what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, number one, s and featuring Esther Dean, background vocalist. I'm going to give her credit. Producers, all them damn producers. But, yo, listen, this is the joint. I ain't going to lie. It's still a joint. Um, if you're not, pump your fist. Like, you're from Jersey Shore. Something's going on with your, your body. You know what I mean? Go see a doctor. This is a fucking killer joint. It's dope. It's hot. It makes you fucking jump up in the air. It makes you dance. It makes you battle dance. It makes you do all that, right? Sex in the air. I don't care if I... What's she saying? 
Sex in the air, I don't care. I like the smell of it. Something like that. Rihanna a freak, man. Listen, Rihanna. Stop calling me. Rihanna, stop calling. It's over. It's over between me and you, Rihanna. Cut it out. All right, let's go to the next song. Oh, did I say that out loud? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. But number two. What's my name featuring Drake? That's why I was joking around earlier, because Drake be name dropping. You know, Drake Drake been name dropping recently. I I, I fucked this girl. I, I, I fucked this girl. Like, Drake, shut the fuck up, dog. First of all, like, listen. I like when Drake rap. But Drake, shut the fuck up. Recently, he been like, oh, my fuck. I don't know. He, like, whatever. He just dropping names that he, you know what I'm saying, he slept with. What? He, what, what? Why? Uh, that's corny. It's just corny. But it's on my hand like Drake killed it. What's my name? Featuring Drake. Uh, producer Stargate and uh Cuck Arrow. Um hit record off the rip. Like I said, I love him Drake rap rap rap. When he raps. When he actually I don't know who's writing for him. That's another theory, another battle we gotta go through with Drake. Um but um when he raps, actually raps, I like when Drake raps. Um, production is incredible, um, to the ears, um, it's plain and simple. Number three, let's go, number three, we're gonna go, we gotta, we gotta get down this line. Cheers, drink to that, featuring, um, LP and Stacey Barth, Barth, B-A-R-T-H-E, Barth, I don't know, I hope, hopefully that's the background singers, produced by The Runners, yo, The Runners are dope. The Runners been doing that shit for a minute. I've been catching up with the Runners, man. They've been doing that thing. The Runners and um, Akiba Riddick. That's the producer. The producers. Um, great rock tempo. You can feel this. You can feel it in your bones. You can feel it like... You can just feel it. It's like rock and roll. Um, it's just dope. Like, like, you could, like, I love rock and roll, man. And you got rock and roll and R&B. Like, one of the best... Um, Lyricists that could drive a tune that's rock and roll or country or whatever. Her vocalist, the whole way her vocals, her way her vocals spray on the track. Rihanna, Riri, I call her Riri, you know what I'm saying? Um, spray on this, this track or just various tracks in general. She just has that knack, you know? So I can't, I, she's just a star. She's a superstar. Why do you think Jay Z signed it? Come on, stop playing. Um, yo, off the record, do y'all think Jay-Z smashed Rihanna? Yo, put that, yo, put that in your, in the comments, stop below, stop playing. All right, listen, uh, yo, 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 this is a good rock tempo, but anyway, listen, she goes, life's too short to be sitting around miserable. You know, sometimes I take quotes out or I take a whole verse out. But just that, in general, makes you, like, wake up in the morning differently. Um, I hope so. I hope it does. Life's too short to be sitting around miserable. Be happy, man. Find something that's going to make you happy. And if you can't, come talk to me on my new podcast. Um, passive podcast. We gonna be talking about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, number four, fading and featuring. And when I when I do features, it's not really features. It's like background vocals. So fading and featuring Esther Dean. Esther Dean was on, I think, the, the Drake track too. Um, but she did a background vocal, so she's dope. She's a good, great singer. Um, produced by Awesome Jones. Veronica uh, is Bozeman and uh, Willie Will and Cuck Harrow. 400, 400 producers, like, to make one good track. You know what I'm saying? Riri slows down the, the party down. Um, tempo, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's back in the first three songs, like, boom, 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 fist. You know what I'm saying? Good, good, good tracks. But it was, like, more fast tempo. But um, it's more like a melody-driven track, this one, number four. Um, number, um, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm still on number four. Uh, this breaks up the, um, the Loud album, like, 
It's loud for a reason. I don't know if y'all know why it's called loud. So maybe y'all can um, hit me in the comments and tell me why it's called loud. But like most of the album was loud to me in a sense, like it was up tempo. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if it's that. That's the reason she called it loud. But this this track right here, fading, uh, brings it down a little bit. It kind of fades. It's like it says, fading brings out the album. Um, yeah, man. It, and I, you know what? I like to hear Rihanna do like a ballad album. I actually sing and hear her voice. You know, over just like some melody tracks or some soft tracks. Like some Sade. I love Sade. If y'all don't know who Sade is, get off my channel. Get off my channel if you don't know who Sade is, dog. But, um, Sade, man. If she do an album like Sade, like Sade, I can picture Rihanna doing a Sade album. When I say Sade, just like the, the way it, the way she sings, the way she vocalizes, the way the melodies are, um, nothing too fast. So Rihanna, if you listen to me, I'm gonna like to hear you on this on something like that. Matter of fact, if you and Sade and Rihanna, God damn, Sade and Rihanna, I'm putting that in the sky. Sade and Rihanna did an album, at least seven tracks. Damn, that'd be amazing. Come on, you know me, Sade, Rihanna. I just need ten percent of that album. I just need ten. Matter of fact, give me two percent of that album, dog. I mean, millionaire, goddamn it. I just gave you a goddamn idea. So it was only at 2%. 1.5%. Give me something. But number five, Only Girl in the World, featuring uh, Crystal Johnson, background singer, uh, produced by Stargate, uh, Sandy V, and Cuck Harrow. Um, this just sounds like an international smash, an international record that you can play in Germany, you can play in Italy, you can play. Like, wherever you go, you're going to hear this album or this, at least this song and go, oh, they're like Rihanna over here. Um, it's just that type of record. Number six, California King Bed uh, featuring uh, Priscilla Benet, I think, uh, background singer, produced by Cook, Harrow, and The Runners. Another great song, man. Starting off with, like, a, it sounds like, um, who remembers... Um, a lot of more set, a lot of more set. Like she was like a soft tone singer. It kind of reminds me of that when she, she kind of starts it off, and then like later on in the song she does it again because it goes up, it goes up in tempo, like some rock shit, and then it goes back down to like a like a like a Ariana. I say Ariana Grande. I'm sorry, Elena, Elena more set. Sorry, Elena more set type of tune. Um. Tell me different. If you whatever you hear, you might hear something different. Tell me about this song. What you think about this song? I like California Beds, one of my favorites. Um, it's a relationship record, but it's like a rock record. But it's a relationship rock record. Um, and I already, I already, I already mentioned to be dated. Did I mention we dated me and Rihanna? Don't tell nobody though. Don't tell, don't tell. Listen, don't tell nobody about me and Rihanna. I'm not Drake. I'm not Drake. I'm not trying to like announce who I slept with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drake, you corny, dog. Drake, you a corny nigga for telling niggas that you slept with people on a rap. So you just a corny. I just brought, I had to bring that up and it's, I just, I, it is in my mind. I'm sorry. Drake, you corny. Um, seven. Ooh, Man Down. Produced by Sham and Cuck Harold. I think it's Cuck. C, I mean, oh, I'm saying, I'm saying K U K. Um, Cuck Harrow, I don't know. He's doing most of the album, so he, he's doing his thing. This is like a reggae time. This is reggae time. You know, she's from the um, West Indies. Uh, she got that flow. She got that vibe. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, tracks and favorite videos. You got to check the video out. But, um, man Down. Uh, I shot the Man Down. You know what I'm saying? She do all this crazy shit. But um, she goes, I didn't mean to hurt them. Could have been someone's son. I didn't mean to hurt him. Could have been someone's son. Ram pa pa pam, ram pa pa pam, ram pa pa pam. Yo, yo, this track is dope. This is like one of my favorite tracks in the album, I ain't gonna lie. Man Down is dope. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Rihanna on this shit and whoever produced it and whatever, whatever, whatever. Number eight, yo. Raining Men featuring Nicki Minaj. 
produced by Cuck, Harold, and Mel, and Moose. Now, let me tell you something. This is back in the day. Ten years ago, Nicki Nikki was hot. Everybody was like, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. This track didn't do so well with the Nicki Minaj feature. Did Nicki Minaj kill the verse? Not gonna lie, Nicki Minaj killed the verse. She was dope on the verse. There's the production and I guess the vocals of um, Riri that didn't really pull it. Uh, so shout out to Nicki Minaj with like bringing the track to at least a three, two point five type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really like this. I ain't really like this track. Um, complicated number nine, produced by C Tricky, Stewart, Esther Dean, and Cuck Harold. Vocal tone on this track was brilliant. I just like the way she sung on this track. The way she brought it to the the audience um it's not my favorite but it's, it sounds like a filling track I, it, it, it's funny like i can give you i can give her props all day and say it's a good song whatever but it just still sounds like a filling track like she was she needed one more left it might have been on an old album or some other album or some other track i don't know y'all ask me y'all y'all tell me in the comments what's good you know what i'm saying number 10 skin uh producers Makoba, M A K O B A, Makoba, Makobe, Riddick, uh, Sounds, and Cuck, Harold, again. Um, this was like a sexual, but not clearer song. Like, everybody knows Rihanna is sexual. Everybody knows she's a sexual being. Uh, woman or man. Who wouldn't want to sleep with me, Rihanna? Who wouldn't want to? Who, who haven't had a, had a dream or a wet dream about Rihanna? Uh, Riri, um, she's just a beautiful person. She down with, I think, isn't she married to like a billionaire? Isn't like Eve married to? Yo, Eve and Rihanna married to billionaires. Yo, any old lady, no matter fact, listen, no, listen, anybody over any old people, only even, even any old women. Over goddamn 50 years old. Holla at a brother dog. Holla at a brother dog. I'll be a goddamn sugar. Whatever you want to call me. I don't care what that you call me, dog. As long as that money flowing, dog. And I ain't working. Just joking. But anyway. I really like this track, Skin. But um, I'm sexually explicit like most of our albums. Um, she's getting it in. She's young. She was young at the time. She's getting it in. You know, I got your praise. They were getting in back then at 20. Well, early in that. Um, number 11. Love the Way You Lie featuring Eminem. This cut was on her album and his album. Produced by Cuck Harrell and Alex the Kid. Um, I think without Eminem, this track probably would have been all the way down to like a three, three and a half. Where Eminem came in, blessed the mic. And kind of brought it up to the four, four and a half type of thing. Um, so I really like the track. I'm giving this whole album four mics out of five. <sighs> I wanted to give it a classic, but I was listening to it and listening to it and listening to it. Great album. What, what would y'all give it? Um, would it be out of five mics? Would you give one mic? You could do halves. One and a half, two, two and a half. No, you know, you know, you know how to count. Um, what would you give it? I gave it four out of five mics out of you know out of source rating. I think it was a good record. I think it was a good um, the sound itself, just the, the, the dynamic of the vocals, uh, the way she blessed the mic, the way she you know carried carried the record kind of. You know what I mean? She carried the. I think she carried this album with the vocals. I think she did. So shout out to uh, Rihanna. Shout out to hip hop. Shout out to R and B. Shout out to uh, whoever was down with this album. I didn't uh, write down everybody's uh, contribution, but uh, hopefully y'all go check out the album, look at the contributions, and shout out to the drummers, shout out to the synthesizers, shout out to the piano players, shout out to whoever actually played on this album. I can't hate on like the musical aspect of the album. I thought it was great. I thought it was a great album. And that's why I'm reviewing it. I only 
And people go, why you don't review so and so? Why you don't review so? Listen, man, I don't even review good albums. Old school, new school. It might be good for you. Somebody might be lyrical for you. But if it's not in my bag, I can't do it. But guess what? Revi hits a four out of five on this joint. Um, it's Marky Walker. You know what I'm saying? Traveling back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going back to the Bean, back to Boston. And um, check me out, man. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, notification bell, so you know when I'm going on live. I just started a new podcast called Passive Podcast. And I got so much stuff coming, man, with that. It's going to be crazy. You know, I'm feeling feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Look at that, Beyonce. But, um, yeah, man. So this album is dope. I'm loving it. I'm getting a four out of five. You know, when I first heard it, I think I was giving it a classic. What y'all give it? Y'all going to give this a classic or y'all going to give it over under a classic? Y'all tell me, man. I give it a four out of five, Mike's, man. Like, source ratings. Um, coming from Boston. Bean Town. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Yon, if you out there, that's the wink. That's the broken wink. You try to wink at the other girl. But yeah, I love you, Yana. I'm going to keep doing what you're doing. And come out with that goddamn album. That was going on, man. Been like 80 years and you don't got an album out. But um, shout out to making uh, income, period. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to um, people that's having seven or six or seven income streams. You know what I'm saying? And if you are having uh, that many streams, Shout out in the comments how you making that money. Share your wealth, man, so everybody's going to make some goddamn money. All right, man, it's Marquee. Rihanna, loud. The album, Bean Town, baby. Bean Town.